So here we are at Cape Arago, the end of the road in the Cape Arago Shore Acre Sunset Bay State Park Complex. And we call this particular location Cape Arago, but really the landform that this is the southernmost part of is all Cape Arago. So if you look at the Gregory Point Lighthouse uh, north of Sunset Bay, you look at Shore Acres Park, the beautiful park, the Sea Lion Overlook at, at uh, Simpson Reef, all of that is part of this big landform, this promontory, Cape Blanco. But the locals have, Cape Arago, and the locals have carved it up into its respective little pieces, but as a landform, uh, Cape Arago is when it shows on the maps. But Chris had a question for me uh, about sea otters, uh, and we got to talking about something else, so refresh me. What, 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 were you, what were you talking about? What were you curious about? I was curious what the sea otter symbolizes for the quote of the Japan. Well, the sea otter has a lot of I iconic meetings to uh, native peoples all over the Pacific Northwest. But for the Coquille tribe, especially today, the Ilaka, the sea otter, uh, and the Ilaka Alliance, uh, which is a consortium of tribal folks and some agency folks interested in trying to understand sea otters, for sea otters today, for the Kopalu tribe, it's just a representation of a past time in our, in our ancestral history uh, when the world was different uh, and when creatures that were, were in relationship with them and were important to our traditions and our culture are no longer with us. So it allows us to think about uh, a particular animal and allows us to think back in time to how our ancestors worked in the landscape, what their relationship was to the world around them. Uh, and how important different creatures were to their culture and their traditions. <clears throat> so thinking about those cultures and traditions, uh, we don't know for sure how sea otters were hunted, uh, whether they were ambushed on the rocks or close by, whether we got in canoes and went out to the outer rocks, uh, but we know that they like to hang out in kelp beds. Uh, they like to hang out in kelp beds because there's a lot of food in those kelp forests. Uh, but for the purposes of the cultural traditions and the ceremonial aspects, sea otter pelts were highly valued because they're so water resistant, they're so shiny black smooth, and for traditional and ceremonial capes, like sewn together like a cape, uh, for quivers like carrying your tools or you know spears or arrows, those sorts of things. And then, you know, during ceremonial dances when you bring that out because they're so beautiful, they're so so they're just beautiful that uh, if you and I were dancing and men dance, you know, we'd be jumping out there and we'd be showing off that outer skin and we'd be showing off all of the, all the gear that we had that attached to that. So whether or not they were hunted for food or for other purposes, we know that they were taken. How they were taken, we're not sure. But we know they were taken because of the special qualities of that pelt. It's black shininess, it's water resistance, and the fact is, quite frankly, uh, sew enough of them together to keep yourself really warm and dry. Yeah. There you have it. <clears throat> I don't know what else we were talking about, uh, but, you know, we think about today and uh, what does that sea otter mean to us? And what could it mean to the coastal ecology? Uh, what could it mean to how you and I think about our ancestors? Uh, and, you know, those sorts of things. Uh, I mentioned the kelp forest. We know the otters like to hang out in those kelp forests. We know that otters like to eat urchins. Urchins like to eat kelp. So if we've got otters, maybe we've got a little bit, a few less urchins. Maybe we've got a little more kelp forest. Uh, so there's a balance in, in, in how we look at those things. And when the particular animal is missing, the species is missing out of that, then we know we're a little bit out of balance. So again, to come back to the question, what does it mean today? Sea otters back into our landscape be us working hard to bring what we hope to be a balance and a rebalancing of some of what happens on the coast.